The first thing that we do at the start of any MEP project is link another trade in. Generally, there's almost no exception to this. So that's what I want to do. I'm going to jump into my electrical project. And I'm going to go to my Insert tab. On my Insert tab, I want to click on Link Revit. I'm going to go to where I'm keeping my backgrounds. Now I want to select Architectural. Now the positioning is important that I select Auto, Origin to Origin. And I click Open. Now that this is linked in, there's a couple steps we really need to do. The first step is to go ahead and select the linked model and make sure that you pin it. Now, once it's pinned, there's a couple things we can do, but I want to hit Escape first. Now, I want to select my Revit link, and in my Properties, I want to click on Edit Type. I want to make sure that Room Bounding is turned on. My Reference Type wants to be Overlay. In my Phase Mapping, I'm going to click on Edit. And right now, we haven't dealt with phases yet, so this is perfect. I want to hit OK. I want to hit Apply. I want to hit OK. And I want to hit Escape a couple times. Now, what we'll see is there's some icons down here. Notice that I can hover over my underlay and select it. But I can't move it because I've pinned it down. Given the fact that it's pinned, if we select this pin button and there's a little red X on it, notice that we can't select this underlay at all. This is good and bad, but if you ever run into this, it could be confusing. This is why you cannot select the underlay. There's certain times when you want to. So I'm going to uncheck the pin button. The next thing I want to do is go back to the Insert tab. I want to click on Link Revit. And I want to find my Structural Model. My positioning is going to be Auto, Origin to Origin. I'm going to click Open. Now we'll see the following nested links will not appear because their reference type is set to Overlay in the Structural Link. So what that means is, remember back when we clicked on Edit Type and made sure it was Overlay? We cannot see any models that are linked into other models. If you're a veteran AutoCAD user, you'll know this is called a nested XREF, and it's bad in every program. Click Close. Now, if we zoom in, we should see both columns and architecture. Now, what I'd like to do is add some spaces to our model. If we go to the Analyze tab, I want to click on the Space button right here. Because we turned Room Bounding on when we clicked Edit Type, our spaces will find the rooms. But the problem is, if we come into, say, for example, this space right here, I'm going to pick right here, and I'm going to hit Escape a couple times. I don't know what Space 1 is. So what I want to do is select Space 1 Tag. I want to click on Edit Family. Now, we're just going to make some modifications. I'm going to select Space Name. I'm going to click Edit Label. I'm going to click here where it says Name, and I'm going to click the red Remove. And I'm going to scroll down until it says Room Name. And I'm going to add that. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to click on the 101. I'm going to click Edit Label. I'm going to Remove Number. And I'm going to scroll down until it says Room Number. And I'm going to add that. And I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to click Edit Type for my label. And for my Width Factor, I'm going to type in 0.8. Then I'm going to click Apply. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to hit Escape a few times. I'm going to click Load into Project. I'm going to overwrite the existing version. Now it's room number 24. Now what I can do, I go to Analyze. I go to Space. And now I can select any space that I want, and it knows exactly what it is. I'm going to go through and add Spaces every one of these rooms. I'll stop at the corridor. What happens if you get two spaces in one shot? I'm just going to click on Delete Spaces, just to make sure I'm not being redundant. This is outside, so there's no space there. I'm going to hit Escape a couple times. And there we have it. 